Hi guys, this is Gary, aka Demigods, with a video for DJ Tech Tools. Here's how to create a single dial DJ filter rack. We're going to start with a blank audio effect rack and we're going to use native to live audio effects. We're going to control elements of them with a single macro and use it as a perfect DJ transition between two tracks. Just have the single audio track with two tracks ready to play here. Just going to drop on blank audio effect rack. Now where it says drop audio effects here, this is where we can start to build up the chain. So let's start with an auto filter, just drag and drop inside there. We're going to change the filter to a low pass filter and let's open up the macro on the effect rack. And what we want to do is we want to assign all the different parameters of the different effects that we're going to use to just the, the one dial here to macro one. What I'm going to do is right click first of all on the frequency cut off here and map to macro one and also right clicking on the Q and the resonance map to what is now called frequency it's also a macro number one and just turning up the dial here you can see that as we increase the cutoff we're also increasing the cue at the same rate now what I tend to find uh, in tracks is that the, having the cue this high and the cutoff this high um, it can be quite cutting and quite a screechy kind of sound so what I'm going to do is go into the map uh, of the macro and we're going to turn the maximum amount of Q that the dial will dial down to about two there okay and that just means as we come out of map that uh, the Q is not going to rise up too high as we go into those higher frequencies so it's not going to be too shrill too harsh on the ears okay great let's see how that sounds so far <laughs> Now what you can see is that we're losing a lot of bottom end here. So what we need to do at the bottommost point of the control is to have the auto filter disengaged. So we're going to right click on the on off button and we're also going to map that to macro one. We then need to go to the map again and we're going to change the device on parameter. I'm just going to click on there and enter number one, press enter and then press escape to come out of there. And now what that means is it's only going to engage from one onwards. So you can see there, as soon as it goes beyond one, it engages and disengages as soon as we get to zero. Okay, let's go for some modulation now. So we're going to drag a flanger and we're going to drop it here. So it's in line with the auto filter. So we have all of these effects just, effects just on one chain. Now I'm just going to map the dry wet signal here to macro one. Again, we're gonna to go to the map section because we I'm gonna have the minimum setting as a bit wet. So let's say as soon as it engages, we have 20%. Okay, let's escape twice out of there. And let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> Okay, nice bit of modulation added in there. And we're also going to map the on off of the flanger and again have number one as the minimum setting so that it only engages once we go past one. Right, let's move on to the next effect. I'm thinking now let's put on a ping pong delay. Again, dragging it in the right next to the flanger so it's in the same chain let's open up the EQ to cover the whole spectrum there I'm going to switch it on f the beat division uh, for quarter notes what I'm going to do is right click and map the dry wet signal and also the feedback it's a macro one so the amount of repeats are going to increase as well as the amount of wet signal all right <laughs> Now what's great about this is that at 100% we can, we can leave this and we can then start to bring in the other track. So the other track is now playing and as I decrease the macro it will start to come in.
Uh, let's do it back the other way now. You can get the idea. Okay, last one I'm going to put on is reverb. Okay, so let's drag that again to the end of the chain. And we're going to increase the decay time up to about four seconds. Okay, and we're going to map once again the dry wet signal. So default position, just like the ping pong delay, is no signal um, being added to our track at all. Until we increase the macro knob. So now we've got the filter cut off the flanger the ping pong delay and the reverb all slowly creeping up as we increase the dial. So let's hear this now. And I like to throw it at the end. There we go guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.